Rickenbacker guitar that I purchased way back in the first week of 1969. 68 had been a really cool year for me and my band Creedence. We had a big hit song called Super Q. Uh, anyway, and so I figured at the end of that year, I, I was a one-hit wonder, you know. So, I better get my toolkit together and kind of sharpen my knives and all that stuff and try to have an actual career in music. So I bought this guitar and made a bunch of changes to it. I won't bore you with the long list, except for the most important thing was I put a humbucker pickup right here in the bridge. That would be off of a Gibson Les Paul guitar. And it's still there, look at that. Made in America! <laughs> Anyway, uh, I had heard about these guys over in England. They are named Jimmy, Jeff, and Eric. <laughs> Ask your grandpa. We will be talking about Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, and Eric Clapton. And they were plugging Les Paul Gibson guitars into a Marshall amp and making the coolest sound that ever was made in rock and roll. And I wanted to get me some of that. You know, a couple of guys I know at the same time, like Billy Gibbons, uh, were doing the same thing I was doing. Uh, because of the same fellas in England. Anyway, let's see. So then I played this guitar on everything. You know, uh, Green River, up around the bend, uh, down on the corner. I played this guitar at Woodstock! No, I mean, sorry, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Anyway, uh, oh, Mac, well, the rocket ship went straight up for a couple years, and then, of course, just like Elon Musk, it started to... Ah, anyway, about 1972, my band broke up. My girlfriend left me, and my dog bit me. <laughs> about then, this 12-year-old kid comes up to me, and he says, uh, can I have one of your guitars? And I, yes, I did it. I took my most iconic, precious thing in the world, and I gave it to that 12-year-old kid, and I didn't see his guitar for a long time. And then a couple years ago, my sweet wife, Julie, went out into the belly of America, you might say. She started beating on bushes, and she found my guitar, man. And she got it all in for the Christmas tree. And suddenly, for the first time in 44 years, I had my baby back! How's that? That's me on a Christmas morning. <laughs> Old Dad's wearing his special jammies, yes sir. <laughs> Anyway, I told you about that uh, Woodstock deal. Yep, I went up there with all the young hippie kids that we were. And uh, after that wild weekend, I went home and I wrote this song on this guitar. Mm -hmm. 